Today I'm making a video of how I make beans. So today we're putting bacon in here. So I'm cooking the bacon up first. I use the scissor and cut it all up. So here's and here I got my beans already. I already rinsed them two times, and now they're I'm using warm water. So see how it's like. Look at this. See how they're all wrinkly right now? It softens the skin when you're doing that. And I got these. I just got like one of those pound packages of. Uh, um, these are. Uh, I think these are Roma beans or Pinto. Pinto or Roma, one of the two is my favorites anyway. The Pinto use the bacon grease that comes off of there to make the beans. And we'll make some more video when it's when I get farther into the process. So this is so far making beans. Alright, time to check the bacon again. I did add a little bit of water. Bless you, honey. All that nice little brown stuff. And you do want that in the beans. So that is, makes so much flavor in the beans too. And the beans, you can pretty much flavor them however you want. If you just want simple, simple beans, you just add your, um, you know, seasoning, salt, and uh, your seasoning, salt, and um, baking soda, and you know, and a little bit of. You need fat for it. You need a little bit of fat, or if you want to, you can just do it without too. Um, I like to do it with a little bit of. Even if I don't do bacon, I use other meat in there sometimes. Or if I don't, if I do vegetarian, then you can just, you know, put water in the beans and then just put the flavors, whatever you want. I put all kinds of spices all the in time, there. but I just got to make sure that the beans have enough water and that they're covered at all times. That's what you got to do. Um, so I'm just going to drain the beans now. And I'm just going to pause it a minute because I can't hold on to the camera while I'm doing that. I'm just going to drain them. Alright, we got the beans in the water. I haven't put anything in there yet. So now we're going to get the baking soda and all the spices. So hang on there. I'm going to grab the baking soda. Okay, I got the baking soda. I got a fresh one. I don't use the one that I keep put in. put a little fridge. pinch in there. A little pinch of it. Just like that. A little pinch. And then you stir it. You stir it up. Rack here. And that just takes. Okay. Aww. All right. So I got my spice rack. So I I do a little bit of everything. So what do we got here? We got some basil. I'm gonna put some basil in. This is purple basil. This is from the garden, uh, community garden that I took and I dried it myself and put it in here. So. I like to use my own fresh spices and put some basil. So you can really put whatever you want, whatever your flavor desires. Um, I'm going to put some oregano and oregano too. I got that out of the garden. I grinded it up myself. And then it's almost fresh and I'm going to put a little bit of thyme in it too, you know, thyme. I did the same thing with the thyme. These are all things from the garden. Spices are good for you and I, I'm going to eventually start putting these in capsules and start you know taking all these herbs on a daily basis. So I got my, I got some, uh, what do we got here down here? We got some sage, might as well put some sage in there too, some ground sage. Sage is really good for you. So let's put some ground sage too. And then we're gonna put some um, we're gonna put some chili peppers. Chili peppers as well. I, I use some of the chili pepper and then I have my own red chili peppers and I mix them in there with it. The seed and everything. So we're just gonna we're not making it hot, we're just putting a little bit. And then what else are we gonna put in? Some uh, in there. I like to really use the Mexican kind. Um, it's called consoma, Consomate. I really love that one, but you can only get that in Spanish stores, which I have to drive three hours to get to a Spanish store. And this and seasoning salt is very salty, so you want to, you know, just and go by taste. I do like put a little bit of soy sauce in there. So now it's starting to get some color, right? So now we just let them cook. 
We let them cook. I put them on high to bring them to a boil and then I'll turn it down and put the lid on it. Just let it kind of simmer and make sure there's enough water in there all the time. So let me grab the soy sauce. In them, you know, with like so this is what I'm doing. Putting some soy sauce. So at this point places. you can also put the bacon in. Oh, this is hot. It looks fan, so I might so have I to put it in a bigger pot, I guess. I might have to put it in my big big one. I cook too much. Yeah, I had to put it in a bigger pot. Had a big one. And it's cooking like crazy now. Get a little. All right. This is the beans all done. And so now I put some. I also put some browning sauce in there. It just makes the super little thicker. Um, some soy sauce. I went to the store and got some crusty bread from our store here, Foodland. So we're gonna have. Beans and bread, beans and pork and beans. We gotta have like you know bacon and beans, bacon and beans. I put bacon in there. We're gonna have pork and beans. Yummy. Okay, the beans are all done. So I'm gonna put some in a uh, in a bowl for myself, and then I'm gonna show you how I eat my beans. Hang on there. Hang on. All right, had to wash my hands. That's why I like it like that. I like my beans like that. And uh, I like lots of liquid in there. I like a lot of liquid in my beans, almost like a soup, but it's thick. So we're gonna cut some bread. They don't ever come out of the room. I'm starting to get worried about them. This is mayonnaise, but it's uh, made out of it's vegan mayonnaise. I'm gonna try that. I like putting mayonnaise in my in my beans. So let's try, let's try the beans. Vegan. All right, let's try this. So I dip it in. <laughs> Can't do well that well. I dip it in. Mmm. Really good. Really, really good. I need to use some beans. Some beans. Mmm. The best way to make beans. Enjoy. Hope you guys all make them. God bless. Bye now. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.